Hey guys, what's going on? This is uh, Dustin from Shadow Minecraft with a tutorial for you on how to uh, set up a, a bucket server that has an economy and shops. Uh, we're going to get started by saying you're going to need a decent amount of RAM for this uh, because uh, it's just you need at least a gigabyte of RAM just running off your server to actually uh, set up the server. Um, so first you're going to go ahead and download Bucket. Uh, I'm going to use the recommended build. So first go to bucket.org. All the links will be in the description. Uh, you're going to want to go to the recommended build. Um, I'm going to save this link as... No, wait. Sorry, guys. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't. Alright, go to get craft bucket. Uh, then right click get recommended build and click save link as and put this in a folder where you're gonna have your mo where your bucket folder I'm just gonna put this in my desktop as bucket all right so inside that bucket folder save that then close that down uh copy this right here or no in the description will be like a code um just uh take that code and then go ahead and open up notepad copy and paste that code in and then save as go to your desktop bucket uh just name this run uh change this to all and name it dot b a t so run dot bat and click all files save um go ahead and open up your bucket folder click run now it's gonna say all oh, failed to do all blah 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 don't worry about that um so as it's just generating um so as that's generating go ahead and go to your command prompt and open up your command prompt to do this just uh, go into your search bar and type CMD and click enter or you can go to run and type CMD anyways um is the server done? yeah alright so once it's done just type stop and click any key to continue um in here type slash I just do IP config uh, go up until you find uh, what you're currently using, whether it's Ethernet or wireless. I'm using wireless. Um, Sirius is 192.168.0.142. Whatever your IP is, go ahead and enter that in there. Uh, I'm going to change my player limit to like 12. Um, yeah, what now? Alright, uh, save that. And then take that IP, the default gateway, and type that in on your internet browser. Now, you're going to need a router for this, by the way. If you don't have a router, you're pretty much fucked. Sign in. Uh, your details should be on your router or on in the instruction manual. Find port forwarding. Mine's in port f is in NAT. Yours should be in firewall, LAN, or NAT. Mine's in port, mine's in NAT. Anyways, um. Uh, go ahead and port forward this on port 25565. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete my port so you can see me do this. Uh, name it Minecraft. Make it TC, make the type TCP and UDP. If your computer only supports runs, just use TCP. Uh, then put the IP that you had for your config file. Uh, make the single port, uh, 25565. And 25565. If you can only do range, um, make it 25565 to 25565. Now that's done, make sure it's active. Now you can close that down. Now, uh, now we won't need the command prompt anymore. Now go ahead and go to the uh, 
first link for bucket forms, which is this, and then download H2, save link as into the same folder where crap bucket dot snapshot is, and do the same for my squill. Then download the zip file, open it, uh, you know what, no, just download the jar file, and save link as, uh, save that into your plugins folder, and then close that, and then do the same for this, oh, Alright, now I only need, only take essentials.jar, and essentials spawn if you want to set your spawn, and you know what, I'm just going to do essentials, essentials spawn, and essentials geoip, those are the only ones that you actually need, do not get group manager, group manager, do not get that, I know that everyone says, oh yeah, you need that, Trust me, don't get it. It's not worth your time. Anyways, so now that that's done, you can close that down. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to set up your, uh, what do you call it, like, the actual shops. So, we're going to go ahead and end the video. Hey guys, what's going on? Alright, so we joined the server. Now we're going to be showing you, uh, basically how to use the server plugin that we downloaded and what we're supposed to do. So first of all, go ahead and opt yourself in the command line. So now we're off. Uh, go ahead and disconnect and reconnect. And when you disconnect and reconnect, uh, it should say your name's Red. Hello. See now my name's Red because I'm an admin now in the server. Um, now let me type slash help, oh, slash help, um, essentials gives you some really great command to use, um, one of my favorites actually is Antioch, basically, uh, it, dr it drops, um, live TNT, Pointing. Now, if you experience lag, sorry, uh, it's not my server, it's because I'm uploading a video right now, or not, re I'm rendering a video. Should be better now. It's not server lag, it can command lag, it's just fucking, uh, it's just, uh, rendering lag because I just started a new world file. Anyways, uh, let's get on to what we really wanted here, uh, the economy. So basically when you start up the server, you can go ahead and configure how much money you start with. And I'm making it so you start off with $30. Uh, to change that, go into your economy plugins folder. So yeah. Uh, I, I also added some plugins. Now as you can see, if you type slash plugins, you can basically pull up all the plugins. Uh, essentials, essentials, G-E-O-I-P, essentials spawn, economy, world edit, and mold guard. Uh, world edit is a really helpful command. It allows you to like edit the world really easily. Um, so first we're gonna make your spawn area. I'm not gonna make it. Let's just say like, if you want to set it? Just be in, you have to be an admin and then type slash set spawn, and then spawn set for group default. So now for every default user. Um, you will be, spawn will be right there, and if you can type slash spawn. Oh. Thanks you back right here. Alright, now let's get started. Um, so now we're done that. Okay, now we're going to set up a market. Now to set up a store, basically what you do here is get a sign. Now this uses a sign shop. Uh, so basically, if you right-click it, all right. So on the first line, 
type. Second line, uh, the amount. For every right click, we're going to do one. And then the item, stone. And then the price, one. Alright, so, slash money. I have three dollars. So right click that sign and type slash money. And now twenty nine dollars. Now watch, when I get to thirty. Oh, look at that, don't have sufficient funds. Slash money. Zero dot zero zero dollars. Alrighty. Uh we're gonna get on to the command for paying people. So it's slash pay, so as you can see it's right there. So slash pay player amount. And then yeah. Uh I I believe you can do slash grant. No? Slash money set again. Yeah. So money username in the game is the GN. You. Anyways, you notice basically every item. Um, now items that have spaces between them, don't add the space. Uh, you just leave it as it is. Don't add the space. Like iron ingot, no space. Iron door, no space. Wood slab. That kind of stuff. Snowball. Oh, snowball is one whole word. Duh. Um, block of diamond. Crafting table. Stone stairs. Yeah, you get it. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Um. Thanks for uh, watching my videos. Please, if you uh, want to join my server. Um, the IP is in my other video called Shattercraft. Uh, please come join our server. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope to see you in my server. Peace out!